Alright, there we go. Now it's recording. Uh oh, did I get stuck? Okay. Now this is the... What is it? Oh yeah, this is the army. Armory, you just go blah, 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 blah up here. Uh, pretty and much, now. uh... And there's the Hello boss. YouTube. This is Farming Guy. In the core, your tank. Make sure you're always facing the party. In case a mob ends up going towards the party, you can grab its attention. And this is just for people who, who are learning the tank or who are pretty much want the tank uh, instant cues because we pretty much hate people that want to just do the instant cues and don't know how to tank or shit. Just like he said. <laughs> But we all know that people do start somewhere, and uh, it's all it's all a learning experience for everybody. Got to learn to pretty much take control of the guys you have in front of you. Depending on the character itself, the guy could be higher than you, so he could be pulling a little bit more than you. So that's always going to happen. And that's him with the star. And since I'm just recording and not doing anything, I'll show you around this armory. Is basically you could tell it's the armory. This is where they go training. Yeah, you could train, beat up the little doll. Oops, there we go. Yeah, but you can't beat up the doll. It's theirs. And you could basically hit this. Now, farming guy, you do have righteous fury, correct? That is correct, sir. Yeah, guys, so pretty much anything you can do to get threat, uh, including any abilities such as uh, with the paladin, you could use righteous fury. Uh, it increases your threat generation and it will make it much easier for you to hold the mobs away from your team. Yeah, see, I have a pally too. Uh, if pally. the casters, if the casters are pretty much back there in the back, you get pretty much want to just taunt them and point them in the direction of the tank. As much as possible. If they end up going towards other mobs, it's the tanks you have to go back and pick up that up or pick the group up. I mean, you got to remember that the DPS. Pretty much everybody plays a role in the game, and pretty much uh, uh, a lot of this is coordination and if you don't have vent you know if you're not on vent especially in uh you know what do you call those in pugs you just kind of have to go with the flow but uh kind of give everybody communication as well kind of let them know what you're doing so that they have a clue of what's going on as if you don't some someone's gonna pretty much hate your guts and then get you out of the dungeon because they just don't know what the fuck's going on. One, two, three, four, and one, two, already. So I'm leveling up pretty fast. And that's why he is here, farm, farming guy, named Josh of it. That's why he's pulling, he's basically pulling, technically me, because everybody's the same level as him. So he likes to spend his quality time to come out to help <coughs> the guildies level up or 
also uh, help them get what uh, they want that they need for their uh, professions like me I'm an engineering but see I've done it by myself and if I really need something then yeah I'll be afraid to ask him but I know he's gonna uh, help me out anyways so you know if you're really stuck and you needed to go out there and you don't know where to get it or whatnot just talk to him and he'll help you out on it and you have to be a, a guilty though because basically he helps you you're technically helping the guild like I'm an engineering so people know I'm an engineer and whatever they have what they want that I can make I could just go ahead and make it uh, and I have to make me a gun because 36 and I'm just using a low one <clears throat> but I'm gonna be pretty much leveling up pretty fast so I probably won't make that gun I'll probably make the next one so yeah pretty much it's already six minutes and I'll check the map here I think we're almost at the boss yeah we just have to do is another corner another corner and then the boss so I think we can get it before 15 minutes is up this will be... Uh, another thing too, when you're tanking, don't feel bad if you did a mistake. Just as long as you try and get back, uh, you know, as long as you try and get back the two groups that you see ahead of you. Now, if you got one that's kind of going back towards the healer, just kind of watch, you know, just kind of watch what it's doing. And then, um, pretty much all you have to do is worry about the two that's in front of you. Because pretty I mean, much same long range. Sorry, sorry, go ahead. Well, same goes for any role. I mean, if you do make a mistake, I mean, that's what the point of you being a lower level is. You need to learn as you go on, and if you fail once, I mean, it probably won't be that big of a deal if you're a, a DPS. But, uh, I mean, even as a tank or a healer, uh, you are just experimenting with abilities. And you gotta get a feel for how you play the game, so don't worry about it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, everybody plays their character differently. Everybody tanks differently. I don't care how, you know, well the tank you are on a lot of tanks or healers. Everybody plays, plays it differently just because they're talents are speculated differently and uh, basically they're correct because as soon as you get it's out there about this game out there in the outlands your you're basically and making a, a character creating a character you'll be a pro being addict. the character so always low classes low levels do what you can learn everything you have learn what like me i'm a hunter i've learned what the uh my bear could do what his abilities could do he's good at uh, helping as a tank me. you have to try and do your best to uh you know know what's going around like the healer pulled the uh, pulled the mob and they he's 46 i mean he can handle it pretty much but if he wasn't he would pull an aggro by accident you just have to uh, take it back from. And if you do end up accidentally pulling aggro, uh, most classes do have an ability such as a priest can use his fade, which reduces his aggro. Uh, and I mean, if you find yourself in a situation, uh, you can go stealth, you can use fade, use your ice wall if you're a mage you know you have you have a bunch of options so exercise your abilities and do what you can to give the tank the aggro because I mean that is his job even this ice block here so you drop it hella quick back up really fast you tell the tank you got aggro and there you go uh -oh. alright here's the second boss we're going to so this is the boss First boss in this dungeon. Always the first boss. And I can go ahead and send my pet out there. 
You don't want to stand there when he's spinning like that. Because you could get hit, damage big time. Even he's a high level and he's getting hit big time because it's. Alright, you tell you might want to get down from there. Because uh, after this boss is killed, there'll be mobs coming after, or coming right out that door. dead or come from this door and they'll run all the way down here so and they're just sitting right outside the door they're just waiting for the call and then they'll stop right here go way down here and then there you go so your best bet is to stay in the middle well I'm come down here throw a consecration like down like right here then pretty much AOE. Yeah, and you don't want to stand up there either. They're not elites, but they can still do damage, even though that's, that's a lot of them. Set my bear to aggro, so that way I don't get hit. See, the bear just protect me on both sides there. That is so cool. And there we go. That is the dungeon of this, and now the cathedral. So I'll see you at the cathedral. Oh, look at that, Scarlet Monastery Tavern. All right. So that was the cathedral. I mean, uh, armory. Next is the cathedral. So we'll see you there.